Since becoming a state in 1848, Wisconsin has produced paper, but a new study shows the historic industry might adversely affect Wisconsin's future. Fox 11's Alex Ranallo takes a closer look. The paper industry across Wisconsin and in the Fox Valley has had some struggles over the past few years. Factories have closed, hundreds have lost jobs. But Tom Teeting with the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation says a new study has found paper is still one of the top driving industries in the state. It has a strong footprint mm -hmm. in Wisconsin and there's just opportunities to continue to utilize that. Teeting says the industry needs to continue to diversify, however, to stay relevant, something Wisconsin Paper Council President Jeff Landon says it is doing. According to Landon, companies that make paper for things like office supply or magazines are struggling, but the mills producing packaging, tissues, and wrapping paper are thriving. Those are markets that are doing well and are still growing and are going to be, you can't substitute technology for those products. Uh, I'd be hard-pressed to walk into any restroom and find uh, iPads in there instead of toilet tissue. The study did find, however, the state itself relies too heavily on historically strong industries like paper, and that Wisconsin's leaders need to keep an eye on the future as well, investing more in technology-based industries. Focus policies on helping industries that, that are drivers continue to improve their uh, adoption of innovation. Uh, help them address workforce development needs, uh, and even focus on exports. Which Landon says paper companies already do. Expanding markets, it's not just North America. We're, we're exporting products made in Wisconsin to China. In Appleton, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News.